Go to the last of the ninth inning, three to one San Francisco, and the submarining right-hander Tyler Rogers in to face Brandon Nimmo. First pitch, bounce off the glove of Rogers, and Nimmo will beat this out for an infield hit. Well, Rogers couldn't jump as high as Adrian Hauser did in the top of the inning, and the Mets will get the tying run to bat in the bottom of the ninth. I would recommend any ball hit soft over your head if you're a pitcher, you have to let it go because the middle infielders are have that middle. But he's so tall that he probably thought it was going to be an easy play. So now J.D. Martinez will step to the plate as the tying run. J.D.'s gone 0 for 3 today. Rogers bidding for his second save of the year. And J.D. takes one the other way for a base hit. Nimmo pulls in at second, and the Mets have the tying runs aboard. First two pitches thrown by Tyler Rogers, Nimmo, and Martinez both in attack mode, and the Mets have two men on. Well, they don't want to get to that uh, curveball that rises or breaking ball that rises. Both got two fastballs, two base hits now. Martinez going to right field as well as anyone in the game. Starling Marte will run for Martinez, carrying the tying run at first. DJ Stewart will be the batter. DJ's 0 for 3 today, retired on a line drive his last time up. Chapman playing a step in at third as though he's expecting the possibility of a bunt. And Stewart gets that slider up and in for ball one. That up shoot slider that Tyler Rogers faces can be confounding because you never see that pitch from that angle. Lowest release point in the game by far. And a fastball foul back and it's one and one. He's got a fastball that sinks. He's got an up shoot curveball breaking ball and he throws harder than you think. has 19 saves in his major league career 13 of those came in 2021 when he was closing regularly and that sliders up and in two balls and a strike interesting configuration in the outfield look at Stremsky playing way to pull that gives DJ Stewart a big hole in right center left center as well because of Ramos hugging the line Really, that, that's about as widespread yeah. as you're ever going to see your outfielders play. They're clearly taking the lines away and giving Stewart the gaps. Now, Rogers behind three and one. Jeff McNeil on deck. And Stewart rockets one out to right field. Jastrzemski moving over, and he makes the catch. Tagging at second is Nemo, but he'll stay put. So, Stewart hit it. Fairly hard, but that's the first out of the inning. Just ran up the bat enough to stop the power of Stewart hitting that further. So now it's Jeff McNeil. Jeff's had some luck against Rogers, two hits and six career at bats. Jeff has a double in three trips today. He hit one of the fence in right field for a double back in the fifth. I mean, just unbelievable. His head is at a 90 degree angle from his torso, and he's scraping those knuckles on the ground as he delivers the pitch. His average release point is 1.1 foot off the ground, which is a foot and a half lower than any other pitcher in baseball. So nobody gets to see pitches coming from this angle except when they face Rodgers. Quisenberry to Colby in the 70s and 80s. Nemo at second. Martz had the tying run at first with one out, last of the ninth. And McNeil takes a slider that just missed low. Ball one. And that one catches the inside corner of fastball. One and one. In motion again. Just drops his torso and then the arm follows. 
One and one to McNeil. And Jeff gets a fastball, lines it down the left field side, but foul. Hit it hard the other way, and Nimmo was around third base when it landed. You can see why uh, Jeff has had some success. He's one of the few hitters that hits that breaking ball upshoot the other way. It's had some success against Rodgers. His lifetime ERA against the Mets is 10.03. Harrison Bader on deck. And McNeil is hit. That one got him on the right hand and that hurt, but it loads up the bases. They're going to check to see if it hit the knob of the bat or any part of the bat. The Giants immediately came up shaking his right hand and right. clearly got his knuckles. So now the Mets have the tying run at second and the potential winning run at first. Bases loaded one out with Harrison Bader at the plate. He's been the Mets best with the bases loaded this year. And he drives one out to right coming toward the line is Yastrzemski and he reaches out over the sidewall and it's out of play. Well not only has Bader been great with the bases loaded he's been, he's come up with some magic in the late innings. It's his career with the bases loaded. He's three for nine this year. The team as a whole is hitting 160 with the bases loaded. He's been the one guy who has thrived in these situations. Nimmo at third, Marte at second, McNeil at first. And Bader takes a slider off the plate. A ball and a strike. Robin Ventura, who was a great hitter with the bases loaded, always said whenever the bases were loaded, the pitcher was in trouble. Mm. I was not in trouble. <laughs> Bader lines one base hit down the left field line. Nimmo is in. Here comes Marte. He will score. McNeil will be held at third. It's a tying double for Harrison Bader. It's three to three in the ninth. Harrison has done it all year long. Why would you expect anything different? Has taken his best at bats with the games on the line after the eighth inning. This time, swatted at this rising breaking ball, just got it off the end of the bat and flipped the top spin lob over the head of Chapman at third base. Speed there of Nimmo and Marte ties the game easily. Now, the Giants are going to walk Brett Beatty intentionally to fill the bases. And that will bring up Omar Narvaez with the bases loaded and one out with the winning run standing at third base. Narvaez will be batting for the first time in the game. Omar is looking for his first home hit of the season. He's gone 0 for 27 at City Field. What a time to get one. He came in the game after Tomas Nito left for a pinch hitter in the eighth inning. So it's his first at bat of the game. If you giant the Giants where do you play your infield do you risk thinking about a double play I would play, I would play my infielders back not on the grass I would play them back a couple of steps the outfield is way too deep they yeah. need to move in Narvaez punches one foul I mean a fly ball wins the game and the outfielders are all playing way too deep got for the situation especially with one out two outs you can maybe see it but right. with one out no. Risking the bloop that falls in. And Narvaez punches one base hit, and the Mets win it! Omar Narvaez, his first home hit of the year, and it's a game winner! He waited two months 
to get his first base hit at City Field. And Omar Narvaez, Narvaez makes the first one a huge one as he drives in the winning run in the bottom of the ninth. And the Mets snap this odious five-game losing streak as they rally to beat the Giants 4-3. to three. Well, as they spent the first two days of this series watching the Giants come back on them, they show some magic here and some grit and toughness on the last game of this series. Coming back with three runs in the bottom of the ninth to get themselves a victory here against the Giants. Third walk-off RBI of Narvaez's career. His first as a man. His last one came in 2019. The Mets may not have won a lot of games this year, but they have their share of walk-offs, five of them now, as Narvaez provides the winning blow. Look like a little breaking ball inside, not that big upshoot. And he got it. He gets jammed, but strong enough to just flip it over the head of the shortstop who was playing in, Brett Wisely. Wouldn't have made that play anyways. Perfectly placed. And the Mets needed some of that magic. Way to go. McNeil comes home with the winning run. The Mets played three in the ninth. Bader drives on a pair to tie it. And then Narvaez with the game winning hit. After going 0 for 27 at home this year, Narvaez with the big blow to get the Mets over the top. Big speedy oil change and auto service. Your trusted oil change tune-up and repair experts. Webb for seven, Walker for an inning, and now Tyler Rogers looking for his second save of the year. Yeah, pitch in Pittsburgh through an inning, clean inning, one hit, 12 pitches. First pitch and a chopper off the glove. And that's going to allow Nimmo to reach base safely. Hopefully Tyler's okay. Well, that's some bad luck. That turns into a hit. Back to back innings have been able to get the leadoff runner on. We're used to getting a lot of contact and soft contact at that. This that is something that can happen. I mean, you've been there. That can't be an easy play. You're backing up up the hill of the mound, trying to jump up and catch it. Now J.D. Martinez lines a base hit to right field. Two pitches, two hits, two on for the Mets with nobody out. Marte will be the pinch runner. He's the tying run, and that's a big upgrade in terms of speed over JD Martinez. So the Giants, they've got their hands full now. You assume he's going to swing away. If that's the case, you just got to make sure you get one. Double play would be fantastic. You got to make sure of one out, though, for sure. Stewart. No sign of a bunt takes a slider high. Chapman's ready. He's in on the grass. By the time the pitch crosses home plate, he's sneaking in. Still a possibility here. 1 0. Stewart fouls it back. Pitch right out over the heart of the plate. 1 and 1. Well, it's not going to be easy for the Giants here today. Rodgers, the 1 1. Very high. One thing that you definitely know Stewart's trying to do is pull the ball. A lot of those runners power. along. Yep. Three and one. Well, he doesn't want to walk in. Definitely not. Jeff McNeil waiting on deck. Mets with a chance here. 
That one hit to right. Yastrzemski got a good read. He'll catch it. And that's going to hold everybody exactly wow. where they are. Wow. Nimbo is trying to get a little bounce tag. You always get off a little bit here with nobody out. And I think he got back to the bag. He just didn't trust that he's going to be able to get to third base. Yastrzemski's really deep. He wasn't really trying to get it in. Take that. Now Bailey wants a chat with Tyler Rogers. Brian Price stays put. Trust your catcher to go through the plan of attack here against a guy who could be real tough, Jeff McNeil, former batting champion. He's got a couple hits off him in six at bats. We know he can grind in that bat out, and I think that's kind of what we're what they're going over is that what do you think you're going to get him to roll over on? What are you feeling great with? Because this is time to get down in the zone, throw lots of strikes. And I think they're both having a, a conversation as to what they want to do, but I love that breath. Just relax. Now, with one out, you just got to manage the inning, get another one. Two on, one out. McDeal just a little bit low. Ball one. Bailey trying hard to frame that one for Adam Beck, the home plate umpire. McNeil one for three today. That one right there. Pulled his hands back, but that was definitely on the corner. Yeah, one and one. Different kind of drama here today in New York. McNeil down the left field line. Foul. He does that a lot. And Ramos hasn't played perfectly. You know, it's just in that spot where if it got to the line, he was going to have a shot at it. You're right. He fights you. He's got that kind of swing. You know, he chokes up on the bat. He was upset, thought that had a chance. Now it's one and two. Tyler Rogers. Here's his pitch. Hit him. Wow, McNeil almost like he stuck his arm out there. Bases loaded. Tries that slider to upshoot it. And, you know, he's got all that protection. Definitely hit him. Didn't, earn, didn't try to get out of the way. Now there's a developing situation here. Bader, base is loaded, a pop up. Ostremski will not get there. Just over the net, just beyond his reach. It's a two run lead still for the Giants. So you get a play like that, you catch it, you take the make out. It out. Exactly right. You're just trying to get out. Bader's oh. hyper aggressive. We've seen it all, all series. He's hitting a four double plays. This is a good guy to get one with. But again, just secure the out. Just off the outside, Bailey wanted that one. You see the body language, Patrick. Getting a little frustrated. Base is loaded, one out, two run Giants lead. Rogers pulled a fair. That's going to tie the game. McNeil around to third. It's three to three, and the Mets are set up to try to walk it off. Big swing and a big spot by Harrison Bader gets it off the very end of the bat up and over Chapman has no shot at it throws it down into that corner easy send and now they're just probably going to go ahead and walk and try to get a double play they've already told the Mets they're walking Beatty intentionally. Arvaez, the catcher, will be the hitter here. Brian Price is out to talk some strategy.
first time this afternoon where the Giants were or the uh, Mets were able to get that leadoff runner on and get him around here in the ninth inning. Well you still got a chance in this game it's not over. Mets are going to have to use Narvaez here because they've already hit for their catcher Nito. So he's. If this game goes extras, they need Narvaez. Giants are going to bring the infield in. You got the force play at home. You got a slow runner at the plate. Foul. Tyler, a lot of pitches in that location here. He wants to get that ball down. The 0 1. That one is lined into center, and the Mets are going to win it. A three run ninth inning, and what the Giants have been doing to everybody else, the Mets turn it around today and beat the Giants by the final score of 4 to 3. Yeah, it came down to uh, just not making the, uh, the pitches when you wanted to. He, he got that first one, couldn't get the out. But you got to give credit where credit's due. The Giants were playing such great baseball, but Adrian Hauser came in, settled in nicely, was able to keep the Mets within two. And the Giants got a little dose of their own medicine to finish off this road trip, but it's still a positive road trip. And you got to like where the Giants are at going back home. What a wild week, huh? They blow a lead in the ninth inning, game one. And in game six, they come from behind in the middle four, and they end up with a four and two trip. Exactly. Both Logan Webb starts and threw the ball well. But you got to be happy with the road trip, even though you don't like the way this one ends. Feel for Logan. Doesn't get a win to show for his great effort. Today, the Mets celebrate on the field. They beat the Giants by the final score of 4-3. to three. Thanks for being with us. For Javi Lopez, Dave Fleming saying stay tuned now. Toyota Giants postgame live is starting.